how ritonavir acts as booster drug ritonavir ritonavir is a hiv protease inhibitor which is indicated by the suffix navir so within this protease inhibitors category we include so many types of drugs all these are ending with the suffix navir for example drugs like uh, saquinavir indinavir ritonavir nelfinavir darunavir tipranavir for samprinavir and lopinavir all these are the protease inhibitors so among these ritonavir is one of the drug which is used as a booster drug or pharmacokinetic enhancer drug so in this video let us see why this ritonavir is used as a booster drug in the treatment of hiv so first of all let us see how these protease inhibitors are going to act in the hiv cell dna is not present but the genetic information is uh, residing in the rna this rna is going to be converted into dna by the reverse transcriptase enzyme then this viral dna is going to be combining with the host dna by the integrase enzyme which then undergoes the transcription followed by translation so now at the translation step a viral peptide chain is going to be formed on the host ribosome but the host cells do not have any enzyme that can cleave this peptide chain at a particular length so that they can prepare the viral proteins in order to carry this function viral cell will have one of the important enzyme protease enzyme this protease enzyme will cleave this viral peptide chain into the both structural as well as functional proteins now by action of this protease enzyme few of the proteins are going to form like capsid proteins which are the structural proteins which is forming a envelope around this uh, nucleic acid material and this protease enzyme can also produce the functional proteins uh, like integrase enzyme as well as other enzymes like the reverse transcriptase in this way protease is very important in order to prepare both structural as well as functional proteins of the viral cells which are then assembled packed and released as the new virions now this hiv protease enzyme is blocked by protease inhibitors including the ritonavir so all the protease inhibitors are going to inhibit the synthesis of structural as well as functional proteins of the viral cell now let is the fate of this protease inhibitors so within the intestine when this protease inhibitors are given they are undergoing the first pass metabolism thereby they are converted to metabolites by one of the important enzyme cyp3a4 cytochrome p450 3a4 so some of the drug is going to be metabolized within the intestine and some of the drug is then going to be absorbed into the systemic circulation now after reaching into the systemic circulation this protease inhibitors are going to enter into the liver by the enterohepatic circulation and again within the liver these protease inhibitors are undergoing the metabolism by the same enzyme cyp3a4 so in this way the protease inhibitors have the significant first pass metabolism and their bioavailability is reduced by the cyp3a4 and even the intestine expresses few of the pumps like p glycoprotein pumps which are acting like the efflexing pumps protease inhibitors which are absorbed into the systemic circulation can be reflexed back again to the intestine by these p glycoprotein pumps and p glycoprotein pumps are also expressed on the cd4 t cells which are also efflexing the drug out of the cell so that they can decrease the activity of uh, protease inhibitors now here the ritonavir is going to play an important role ritonavir is acting like a booster drug because it is going to inhibit the metabolism of this uh, protease inhibitors at the intestine as well as at the liver as well as it also inhibits the p glycoprotein pump thereby it inhibits the metabolism and increases the bioavailability of the protease inhibitors in this way ritonavir can increase the bioavailability of the protease inhibitors by inhibiting their first pass metabolism as well as their efflux out of the intestine so ritonavir now used as a booster drug ritonavir can be used as an antiretroviral agent directly as well as it can also be used as a booster drug 
So when it is used as an antiretroviral agent, it is given at a high dose, but when it is used as a booster drug, it is given at a low dose. Why this retinavir is used as a booster drug? So already we have seen that retinavir can inhibit the both cytochrome P453A4 as well as P glycoprotein, thereby increase the bioavailability of the other drugs. And another important thing is that the among the other PI inhibitors, other protease inhibitors, the retinavir is having the potent inhibition on the CYP3A4, so it is highly suitable as the booster drug compared with the other protease inhibitors. So retinavir can be both useful as in a direct antiretroviral agent as well as a booster drug, but nowadays it is more preferred as a booster drug and it is given along with the other protease inhibitors in order to increase their bioavailability. Advantages and limitations. So what are the advantages of using the retinavir as a booster drug? As already we have seen, it increases the bioavailability of the other protease inhibitors. And because of the increase in the bioavailability, it may decrease the dose as well as the dosing frequency of the other protease inhibitors which are given concomitantly along with the retinavir. And because of the reduced dose and dosing frequency, the side effects can be minimized. So these are the advantages of this uh, retinavir used as a booster drug when it is given with the other protease inhibitors. But one of the limitations is also there. As the retinavir is a potent CYP3A4 inhibitors, there is a chance of drug interactions which may be potential when used along with the retinavir. So when it inhibits the CYP3A4, it inhibits the metabolism, so it may lead to the toxicity of the other drugs. Particularly, the potassium channel blockers like the imidacloprid may increase the QT interval when they are given along with the retinavir. Side effects of retinavir. As we have seen that uh, retinavir is given at a low dose of, as a booster drug, the side effects are also minimum. We can observe some of the side effects like diarrhea, nausea and lipid changes in the patients. And apart from these side effects, the drug interactions are so much important because this uh, retinavir is acting like a CYP3A4 inhibitor, it can precipitate the potential drug interactions. Where it can be used? So low dose retinavir is used as a booster drug. So it is used in the heart therapy, which is the highly active antiretroviral therapy in which a combination of drugs are going to be used in order to produce uh, less resistance towards the HIV therapy. So in such situations, low dose of the retinavir can be combined with the other protease inhibitors in order to increase their bioavailability and form classical efficacy. And retinavir can also be used with the other drugs uh, such as protease inhibitors used in the hepatitis C, but its safety is somewhat uh, not established uh, in this combination. So that's about the retinavir, one of the protease inhibitor used as a booster drug along with the other protease inhibitors. Retinavir shows high inhibitory effect on the CYP3A4, so it can be used as a booster drug. Retinavir can be combined with other drugs like uh, lopinavir, fosamprinavir in order to increase their uh, bioavailability. Protease inhibitors are working by inhibition of the synthesis of uh, both structural as well as functional proteins of the virus, thereby they inhibit the replication of the viral cells from the host cells. But most of the protease inhibitors are having high first pass metabolism, thereby their bioavailability is going to be reduced. In such situation, retinavir can act as a booster drug. In this way, retinavir is used as a booster drug and it can be used as a pharmacokinetic enhancer because it is going to inhibit the CYP3A4 as well as it also inhibits the P-glycoprotein pumps. It can be used along with the other protease inhibitors in order to increase their uh, bioavailability and uh, decrease their metabolism. But a low dose of retinavir is generally combined with other protease inhibitors because it is only used to boost the other drugs by inhibiting their metabolism. And retinavir can be used directly as an antiretroviral drug as well as a booster drug, but it is nowadays preferred as a booster drug because of uh, beneficial effects on other protease inhibitors. So retinavir having some advantages as a booster drug as it decreases the dose of the other protease inhibitors, but it is also having few of the limitations because as it inhibits the CYP3A4, it may precipitate few of the important drug interactions. So 
So ritonavir, when it is combined with the drugs having the narrow therapeutic window or drugs which produce the potential side effects like amiodarone, it may precipitate the toxic reactions of the other drugs.